sore from working out or just trying to keep up with the kids? Can this interesting looking egg away cupper really speed up recovery and take away my pain? Let's check it out today. Hi, this is David of Tech for Bubba, a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, let's unbox this ache away cupper and see if it can indeed speed up my recovery and help me feel better. You may have seen cupping in kung fu movies or these red round marks on Michael Phelps or other athletes in Olympics. It's an ancient method to increase blood flow and speed up recovery. Instead of pressing to massage an area, it uses suction cups to pull up the area releasing trigger points or loosening up muscles, resulting similarly in increasing blood flow to speed up recovery. The cupper comes in a nice looking package. Inside the box, there is a well-written user manual in color. The cupper, of course, with the middle cup attached. Three spare filter cottons a lanyard, and USB-A to USB-C cable for charging. And lastly, two other size cups, a larger one and a smaller one. Let's look at the cupper in more detail. It's made of plastic. It's about three and a half inches in diameter and almost three inches tall. Weights less than half a pound. Very portable. The top and the bottom are in glossy black and the side is matted black. There's a hole for lanyard attachment on the bottom. The longer lanyard just clips in and is quite useful for keeping the cupper from falling off. The charging port is on the side. It's great that it's an USB-C port. It takes about two and a half hours to fully charge the cupper and each charge lasts about three hours of operation, which is more than enough. When charging, the charging indicator light on the top is red. The light turns green when the cupper is fully charged. The cupper cannot be used while it's charging. The controls are on the top. The power button is in the center. Around it, there are three other buttons. One to adjust the suction mode, another for the intensity, and a third button for the red light therapy. To turn the cupper on or off, press and hold the power button. Very cool indicator lights. The power button can be pressed again to pause or continue the suction. Let me demonstrate on this spot here right above my knee. Once the cupper gets a good suction, I can see the skin and the muscle being sucked into the cup. Looks quite painful, but it's really not. The red light turns on by default to help relieve pain and inflammation. It can be turned off and back on by this red light control button. The five levels of suction intensity can be adjusted by this intensity control button. Level one is on by default. I end up using level three most of the time. This M button switches between five different modes. First, the wake up mode, a quick suction and release. Second, the relaxing mode, a quick suction plus a slow suction. Third, the massage mode, a deeper suction and release. Fourth, the professional mode, continuous suction with no release. Lastly, the fifth, powerful mode, triple suction and release. I use the massage mode the most. It feels just like a good, deep massage. The cupper can also be controlled by an iOS or Android app called Ache Away. Just open up the app, turn on the cupper, hit search. There it is. The cupper can be renamed here with a long press. Multiple cuppers can also be selected to be controlled together. I only have one here, so let's select it. The cupper is now controlled by the app, not by the buttons on the cupper. You can see the indicator light flashing differently. 
The ab remote control comes in very handy when I use the cupper in hard to reach places like my lower back. On the setting screen, there's a 12 minute countdown timer on the top showing how much time is left in the session. Below it is a slider to control the intensity level and five buttons for the five different modes. Under that, there's a switch to turn the red light on or off and a battery level indicator. There's also a timer screen to set the time for the session up to 12 minutes. The app is easy to use, very clear and stable. I've had a knee injury from basketball years ago and this knee often feels tight. The tightness goes away after a cupping session. It still comes back after some time, but every time I use the cup, it feels smoother with better mobility. Very nice. The red circle cupping marks could take up to three to five days to go away. I know, I know. The whole cupping thing looks painful and quite scary even. But it's really not. It feels very comfortable, like a good massage. So comfortable that I could fall asleep while using it. The size of the cup can be changed easily by twisting off the attached cup. This white filter cotton can be changed out too. The small size cup is curved on the bottom to better fit body parts. I've tried the ache away cupper on my arms, legs, shoulders, and back. They all feel better afterwards. This smart cupper really helps me recover, remove pain and soreness faster. At 169 US dollars, the ache away cupper is not cheap, but it makes cupping therapy much less intimidating and much more accessible to me. I have yet to see anything like this. It's small yet powerful. I can use it easily at home or anywhere without anyone's help. Cupping therapy is forever changed. I just wish it's more affordable so I can get a couple more to use at the same time. Oh, and it'd be even nicer if it could run quieter. But overall, I'm so impressed. It's a very polished product, both the hardware and the software. As I get older, I'm always on the lookout for ways to speed up my recovery from workouts or just playing with the kids. This smart cupper does that for me. It's indeed an awesome tech for Bubba. <laughs> Check out the link below in the description if you can use its help like me. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, and I hope you do, please support me by hitting that like button and sharing this video with your friends. What tech have you found to help you speed up your recovery? I'd love to know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell to be notified when I put out my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.